should do some math about how much force that it since it is uh, math yeah we could do it right let's do it broderick yeah that that one was good too the force of an asteroid that be that big hitting that is yeah that one asteroid the size of a car took out a bunch of buildings in siberia and it only exploded in the air yeah i heard the uh, some of the asteroids that they go Poof! it uh, the impact radius is much larger right the day after tomorrow I ice age one. Oh, is that the ice age one i like that one too that was good helping in math problems here yeah for sure lester i can get you some info about it chicho sure from what we know it's uh we need the weight of it Kinet uh, momentum is uh, mv mv <laughs> i forgot my formulas man some super flaring into yeah sunspot activity is going up but uh, i've also heard that we're going into an ice age right uh lester for sure you got math questions uh let us know we do uh, i should have my physics formula sheets here really formula uh, yeah envy mass velocity but it says uh, the asteroid which is said to have a diameter of about uh, 3250 feet could trigger a nuclear winter if it collides with earth uh, the news outlet well we'd have to know what the we're over two for an ice age according to the problem yeah yeah we could do uh, how much does it like it's 3250 feet uh, you know what can we convert that to meters that'd be like a thousand meters that's approximately a thousand meters uh, feet two meters we could do the conversion but three thousand oops three thousand two hundred yeah that's about a thousand meters a thousand uh, a thousand meters right so that's about a thousand meters just use one kilometer close enough one kilometer well if it's one kilometer we would have to know what the density of the the thing is right because if it's an asteroid full of pumice it won't be because pumice is like volcanic rock when it's very light if it's asteroid full of uh, basaltic rock or it's got heavy metals in it, it, it the impact will be a lot more the momentum if only someone here knew something about rocks i know what geology i do <laughs> but i forgot it all right so it's got a diameter so let's assume it's this its diameter is one kilometer right one kilometer so this is 500 meters right <coughs> how much does a 500 meter uh radius asteroid weigh we got to do search we have to do we have to find out you know what what's the density oh god i haven't done a density conversion forever a uh, density conversion density or we could just do a multiple figure out how much a um, no i wouldn't want i don't want to do a density conversion i haven't done a density conversion for like 20 years <laughs> let's see how much how much does a boulder one meter one diameter meter way come on duck duck go you can do it you can do it let's check it out i don't know what this thing's giving me let me check the chat anyone find uh c m c s and m class asteroid is grams per centimeter cube okay so let's check this out grams per centimeter cube okay so let's do let's do both let's do the extremes so let's do here let me bring a 
there's a wiki page standard asteroid physical characteristics uh, look at okay cool so let's do this so this is our asteroid okay i'm gonna move this over so we're gonna need some space here so let's do some mathematics nice so our question is there's an asteroid coming to the earth right and it has a radius of 500 meters okay it's traveling at i believe 35,000 kilometers per hour was that what it was let's take a look at this 35,000 miles per hour let's say kilometers per hour quick calc in the head says heavy <laughs> so let's assume it's going at actually let's do a conversion 35,000 miles per hour let's just do a straight up conversion Da, 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 da. No, no. kilometers uh, kilometers two miles so let's do a little search 35,000 so it's 56,000 kilometers per hour that's pretty damn fast is that how fast it's going that's really fast are we sure about that i keep saying 35 to 36 i'm not sure which is right that's either way 35 36 that seems really fast Fifty-six thousand kilometers per hour okay let's do it would you submit to have terminal velocity yeah like but terminal velocity only matters through atmosphere in space you can go there's no resistance right there is no terminal velocity and if asteroid is going that fast it's just going to come down and go right it's going to part the atmosphere really like going through is just going to go right so i don't think terminal velocity plays a role for us terminal velocity is only within a small small layer of atmosphere that we have in space there is no terminal velocity terminal velocity would be the speed of light you know we can't reach it feet per second wow that's a lot so let's call it let's call it fifty thousand kilometers per hour okay and only if only if you you want it okay so let's do this uh, class C and S and M so I'm assuming that's light medium and heavyweight but let's call these the densities class C it weighs uh, 1.38 grams and this is going to be doop, grams per centimeter okay. and this is the units right actually i should do it da, 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 da. here we'll just make a table we'll make the list there 1.38 2.71 so 1.38 1.38 2.71 and 5.32 5.32 right so that's our uh, density of asteroid made up of class c class s and class m rocks right now the formula for density well this is uh, grams per centimeter so what we need to figure out is how many cubic centimeters we have here of material right so we want to find the volume of a sphere because this is a sphere right so volume of sphere i think is four thirds pi r cubed see where you're going now yeah so let's check this out uh volume formula let's keep that there volume formula volume formula Boop. come on just give it a volume formula do, 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 do. oh volume of a sphere volume sphere i need to say sphere Boop. uh yeah four thirds pi r cubed right so we got four thirds pi r cubed okay cool 
Thanks, Josie. 4 thirds pi r cubed. So volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed, right? So we need to figure out what the volume of this thing is in centimeters, right? So what we're going to do is, is convert 500 meters to centimeter, right? So let's do all these conversions down here. So you see how the conversions work out too, right? And we don't have any brain farts or me making any little mistakes. Oops, you wrote down squared. Did I? Oh, whoops, I wrote down squared cubed. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Chicho brain farts, not good. <laughs> Things don't work out. So correct me if I get it wrong anywhere, okay? So we got 500 meters and we want to get centimeters out, right? So we're going to multiply this by meters in the bottom one meter is 100 centimeters okay let me let me write this out so it's not messy and this is exactly what i do when i'm doing my own calculations i have to write things out right so one meter is 100 centimeters so if you multiply this out right the meters kills the meters you have two more zeros here one two 50,000 centimeters, okay, centimeters. So we can find out the volume of this thing in centimeters. So four over three pi, 50,000 cubed, okay. Now what we're gonna do is write this in scientific notation, okay. I'm gonna work it out and then we're gonna erase everything, put it here so we see what it is, right? Or just write it out here. So we've got four thirds, pi five times 10 to the one, two, three, four cubed. Okay, so this becomes four over three pi five cubed times 10 to the power of 12 because we got exponent to an exponent, you multiply them, right? Five cubed is 125, right? So four over three pi 125 times 12, a 10 to the power of 12. Does 3 divide into 12? Mm, doesn't evenly, but we can do it with a calculator, right? So, because 3 goes into 12 four times and we've got a 5 left over. So let's do this part, 4 over 3 times 125 times pi in a calculator and get a number and we're just going to leave it as this right leave it in scientific notation and this is where scientific notation comes in handy right when you have gigantic numbers we're just going to deal with it this way so four divided by three is that times where's my pi here where's my pi times 125 125 boop we get 523, and we're not rounding anymore. We're, this is good enough. We're not gonna go any decimal places, times 10 to the 12. And if we're gonna write it in scientific notation, we're gonna kick this number this way, two decimal places, because scientific notation has to be a number, a decimal, and then the rest of the numbers. So we went from here to here, we made the number smaller, so we have to make this one bigger. So this becomes 10 to the power of 14. That is the volume of this asteroid, okay? So let's put the volume of the asteroid here. 5.23 times 10 to the 14. I'm gonna erase the rest of this stuff, okay? And I'm gonna put the um, radius of this guy here radius is equal to 5 times 10 to the 4 centimeters okay so let's erase this we don't need this anymore and we're going to erase all this and it's 5.23 times 10 to the 14 so let's put this metric here volume is 5.23 times 10 to the 14 centimeters cubed. Okay. 2.7 meters. My math must be wrong. 2.7 meters. Oops. Okay. 
Mm. Should I check something? Should I check something? Is it 2.7 meters? Million. Oh, million. <laughs> 2.7 million. It's, uh, I might have punched the stuff in wrong. But if we do this times 10 to the 14, it's way bigger than that, right? Because we have to do it in centimeters cubed, right? What I did was right. Okay, good. Thank you for the confirmation, uh, Josie. So we got the volume here and the density, uh, this should be cubed. Uh, centimeters cubed, I believe density should be cubed, right? Is it cubed? Or centimeters? Where are we? Given density, uh, I rolled over it. It has to be, it has to be cubed. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> So it's grams per centimeter. No, it can't be grams per centimeter. It's mass for volume. Volume must be cubed. So we just want to figure out what the weight of this is. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, it is cubed. It has to be cubed. That's right. So all you got to do now is multiply this with these numbers, right? Agreed, Josie? It is cubed. Yeah, it is cubed. It has to be cubed. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense. So this has got to be cubed. Yeah, I drop exponents and accidentally write wrong numbers. This used to cost me a lot of marks on tests. Okay, by the way, don't be as quick and messy as, as I am. Okay, so this thing... Uh, so if we want to figure out the weight of this thing, it's just going to be the volume times this, right? We'll figure out how many grams it is, like a room multiplied by weight. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to go, I'm pretty sure this is the correct way to do it, right? Because we're going to go centimeters cubed. Here, let me erase this. This is, oh yeah, this is the velocity. So velocity is 5 times 10 to the 4 kilometers per hour, right? I think that's what it was, 50,000. Wait a second. You 50,000. <laughs> this is so awesome. Thanks for making my DJ. My pleasure, Spider-Man. Thanks for the help, guys, by the way. I like this. Uh, and because I, have, I don't do this with my students right now to a certain degree, right? Uh, so I like different problems that I work with. Uh, sometimes my students go, oh, Chicho, you did it all, or you did it all wrong, right? So what we want to do, we want to go centimeters cubed times grams per centimeter cubed, right? If you're just talking about the units, and the units kill each other, so you're left with grams, right? The units sort of tell you what to do. And I'm pretty sure that's all we have to do to go from density to the weight of an object right if i'm wrong josie please let me know this is going to be brutal if this is not the way you do it right so it's going to be 5.23 times 10 to the 14 and we're going to multiply this by 1.38 and we're going to multiply this by 2.71 and we're going to multiply this by 5.32 okay i'm writing them here because as soon as we figure out what these numbers are, 5.23 times 10 to the 14, and 5.23 times 10 to the 14, right? As soon as we figure out what these numbers are, we're gonna erase this and put this in a, another section here. 7.22, is that this one? Uh, yeah, that looks like it should be around seven, right? Can you punch it in? Yeah, that'd be great if you guys can provide the, the numbers. I'm just going to confirm that we're talking about the same thing. Point two three times 1.382. Yeah, so that's it. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. So this is uh, 7.22 
7.22 times 10 to the 14 uh, grams, right? Because we've got grams left over. And then we got, does the US need a labor? <laughs> I don't think so. Sleepy waves. I don't know. But one thing the U United States definitely needs more of is more people literate in the language of mathematics. Every country needs it, right? 2.78 times 10 to the 15 grams. Okay. So those are the weight of this thing, this asteroid coming down, right? So let's transfer these numbers here. I'm going to erase these guys now. So, how am I going to fit this in? I should have written this in a table, but we'll do it this way. Uh, we'll go weight, mass, weight, mass, mass, weight, weight, how much do you weigh? Mass is the mass. No, it's the weight. Mass is times the gravity, right? So for C, it's going to be 5.23 times 10 to the 14. Oh, geez, Louise, I'm writing the wrong number. It's going, going to be 7.22 times 10 to the 14 grams. For S, it's going to be 1.42 times 10 to the 15 grams. And for M, it's going to be 2.78 times 10 to the 15 gram, right? I have a number for weight of asteroid, but I'm waiting for your calc. Okay, so this is the mass of this thing, or the way, this is the mass of this thing. Oh my God, I always get it back. Mass equals weight force, mass times gravity, it's mass. Is it mass? It's mass. Jeez Louise, mass. Me and words. I don't mess 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 with. Uh, it's not just names. I have a hard time with, right? It's everything word related, right? But in Newton's, the problem most people call it uh, call it all weight, so it confuses people. Yeah. So let's erase these. So that's mass, right? Now momentum is mass times velocity it happens it happens <laughs> right so momentum is equal to mass times velocity okay and mass has to be in kilograms it doesn't it's not in grams right so we're dealing with si units i'm pretty sure it's got to be in kilograms right i'm glad i i returned this is so relaxing awesome martin momentum Doop. Momentum, momentum. Let's check it out. Uh, da, 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 da. SI units is kilograms. It's got to be kilograms. Yeah, it's kilograms. Mass should be in kilograms and velocity should be in. Oh, this is this is the one I got to switch. Meters per second, not kilometers per hour. It's meters per second. Thank you. Josie, you rock. So we got to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second, right? So we got to, first of all, change kilometers to meters. That's easy. One kilometer, oops, kilometer is a thousand meters. So kilometers kills kilometers. And now what we've got to do is convert hours to seconds, right? <laughs> thank you vip right chicho so glad i found a twitch channel been watching you on youtube figured i could enjoy the live experience awesome awesome dart hooky 3600 no it can't be 3600 lester i knew my half engineering degree before i switched to software would come in handy one day nice so we're going to convert hours so we've got to kill hours up top and we're not going to go from hours to seconds right away. we're going to go to minutes right so there's 60 minutes right so hours kills hours 
Uh, so we got meters up top, but we've got minutes in the bottom. So now we've got to kill minutes. So one minute, oops, minute is 60 seconds, right? So minutes kills minutes. Now we got meters over seconds. So what we got to do is multiply five times 10 to the four by, oh, one hour equals 3,600 seconds. Thank you. I wasn't sure where the 3,000 seconds was coming. 3,600 seconds coming from. I'm going to inform all my patrons on the results. <laughs> you should sell more of you. <laughs> nice. So this becomes five times 10 to the four times 1000 divided by 60 and 60 so zero takes out zero zero takes out zero okay now we got five divided by 36 so five divided by 36 right five divided by 36 is point uh one three eight 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 so this is going to be 0 0.139 times 10 to the, oh, hold on. There's another 10 here, right? So it's going to be 10 to the 5. But then we want to write this in scientific notation. It's 1.39 times 10 to the, we went from here to here. The number got bigger, so that gets smaller, 4. Okay. I hope I didn't do any... Uh, brain farts here so velocity is going to be 1.39 times 10 to the 4 meters per second okay hopefully i did that correctly uh, i'm just going to leave it up if you guys want to check now we're going to erase it okay So momentum is mass times velocity. This times this. Oh, this got to be in kilograms. So let's erase this. Convert to kilograms right away. Right? How many grams in a kilogram? Thousand grams in a kilogram. Looks right to me. Okay, cool. I concur. So thousand grams in a kilogram. Right? So we're going to kick this 10 to the power of 15 down three notches. So it's going to be 10 to the power of 12 kilograms. Okay. So that's grams, so it's going to be 2.78 times 10 to the power of 12 kilograms. This is the number we need, and that's the number we need, right? So momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Mass is that, 2.78 times 10 to the 12 times 1.39 times 10 to the 4. So 12... 10 to the 12 times 10 to the 4 is 10 to the 6. Oops, 10 to the 6. Oh, good. 10 to the 16. So 10 to the 16. 10 to the 16. And 2.78 times 1.39. 2.78 one What do we got? 2.78. 2.78 times 1.39. 1.39. We got 3.86, 3.86, and the units of this are kilogram meters per second. Kilogram meters per second. That's the momentum of this asteroid, right? Yeah, awesome. So that's the momentum of this asteroid. Pretty serious, but what else should we figure out? We should figure out the force of it force of impact is mass times well we don't know what's accelerating um the newtons how much force does it contain how much energy no we could figure out the energy i guess can we convert to energy yeah we should figure out the energy <laughs> thanks them so what's the energy formula energy energy we need an energy formula as you can tell i'm not a fan of memorizing formulas right i look everything up energy energy Oops, not volume formula. Formula energy. One half mv squared kinetic energy. Oh, it's the kinetic energy. What? Yeah, that's all we've got to figure out. It's just the kinetic energy. That's right. 
we want to figure out the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy, energy kinetic, here, you know what? The, let's erase this and put the momentum here, right? So the momentum is 3.86 times 10 to the 16 kilogram meters per second. Let's figure out how much energy that is to convert. Uh, then convert energy of the asteroid to something understandable, like how many liters of water that energy could boil. Mm, yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do this. I re I don't know how many liters of energy, <laughs> how much energy it takes to boil water, but we can figure it out. So that's the momentum. Now we're going to figure out the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy was one half mv squared, which is going to be one half. The mass is 2.78 times 10 to the 12 times the velocity, 1.39 times 10 to the 4 squared. Is that what we get? You've dropped the three types of asteroids. Oh, yeah, which one do we figure out? We just figured it out for this one. We'll do this one too. We'll do this one too. I totally forgot the three different types of asteroid. So right now we're figuring our lower limit for how powerful this is going to be. Uh, you're just using the heaviest option. Am I using the heaviest? I thought it was this one. Did we use, did we multiply by this or did we multiply by this? I totally forgot. Oops. So this guy is going to be times 1.39 times 10 to the 4 all squared. So the units of this, the power of this would be 10 to the 12 times 10 to the 8, which is 10 to the 20, which is uh, VIP has uh, figured it out. Like, could that asteroid boil away five Olympic size? Swim oh, I could probably boil away the, the, what do you call it? The, the Great Lakes, right? Maybe one of them, Lake Erie, maybe. Look at your mass section. You're using heaviest. Oh yeah, that's right, I'm using the heaviest. So here, we're doing the calculation for this guy right now. Right? So what was this? Oh yeah, so this, these two guys, we're using these two guys. The only difference between these guys is this is kilograms and that's grams, right? So let's do this. So this is grams and that's kilograms. Thank you. I lose track of where I'm going with this stuff. Sorry, I forgot to multiply by 0.5. Small, wasn't it? Sorry, yes. Okay, cool. So, only covered that. Okay, awesome. So two point, so, oh, you forgot to multiply by this. Okay, so this thing, the energy of the heaviest one so what we should do is erase this line and it's just the heaviest one we're figuring out right so we'll erase this as well so the kinetic energy if you punch this in is going to be and is the comma are you uh vip uh are you from europe is the comma a decimal or is that it's got to be a decimal because you got four digits after so it's got to be a decimal so if you multiply that out, we should get kinetic energy, oops, kinetic energy is equal to 2.68, 2.68, because in Europe they use uh, decimals, yeah, commas as decimals, times 10 to the 20 um, joules, newtons, joup. hold on, decimal, comma for, uh, Newtons, forces, Newtons, energy, da, 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 da. Uh, velocity, units. Oh, here we go, joules. Joules. And joules is, joules and force are really related together. What's joules and force? Forces, I forget what it is. Anyway, joules. Okay. So that's how many joules of energy the heaviest one is going to have. Right? Which is a hell of a lot hell of a lot so for for later it takes 
joules of energy to boil one liter of water from zero degrees liquid to 100 degrees joules is the unit for four okay awesome joules nice <laughs> you're catching me at a time we're like i'm like where are we going with all this right what's my units i thought we were doing mathematics so this is how much energy is going to have it takes 400,000 joules of energy to boil water from zero to 100 degrees Celsius, right? Boiling temperature. I thought units for force is Newton. Force is Newton, yeah. I was flipping it around, right? But uh, joules is force times, force times time. Force times time? No, not force times time. That could be force times time as well, I guess. I don't understand formulas uh, too well, but I can do the math, nice. It should be pure water, I guess. So let's do 420,000. So it takes 420,000 joules of energy to take water from 0 degrees to 100 degrees. Right? So if we want to figure out... <coughs> Oops, my bad. Joules is a unit for energy. Newton is the unit for force. Yeah. Um, joules of energy to boil one liter of water so right now what we got to do is figure out how many liters of water this thing could boil right so this thing would be uh, per liter i guess uh, per liter right so we want to this is how many here joules over liters is equal to joules over liters we need to figure out right so this is our ratio, which is four, four two zero zero zero, and we have this many joules, right? So two point six eight times ten to the twenty. This is just proportionality, right? Over this is joules, this is joules, this is one liter. We want to figure out how many liters this will take, right? You do cross multiplication, so x is going to be equal to this divided by this, right? So let's do this. So I'm just going to go 2.68 divided by 42 and then knock off three zeros for this because it's going to be this, the formula. Um, here. We know what this is. So I'm just going to write it out here. So x is going to be 2.68 times 10 to the 20 over 42000 and zero right i forgot one zero missing a zero thank you little uh bunga gorf every now and then i catch <laughs> i catch it when i do a repeat right so these four zeros are going to knock this down to 16. now we're going to go 2.68 here we'll put this as a decimal too so this becomes 15. okay so what we're going to do is just go 2.68 divided by 4.2. 2.68. Oh, you've done it. Awesome. Divided by 4.2. Is that it? That's it. 0.63. So right now, times 10 to the 15, and I'm going to erase this. So let's take this guy out. So how many liters of water can we boil? We could boil... 6.39 oops i should put it here liters li, liters of water boil is going to be 6.39 6.39 times 10 to the 15 liters okay and I don't think swimming pool has 2.5 times 10 to the 6 liters of, um, of water. So, 3 point, uh, my cousin, my cousin Borf, <laughs> my cousin Borf, <laughs> nice, <laughs> liter. Did I spell it wrong? I did spell it wrong, liter, right? So, if, that, if it's that many liters and an Olympic swimming pool has it should be 10 to the 14 it should be 10 to the 14 oh yeah i forgot to move that thing over thank you for the correction because i automatically moved the decimal place over thank you 
<laughs> so check this out. So we got this. Olympic swimming pool is what's 2.5 times 10 to the 6 liters, right? So we don't really need to worry about this. We just go 6.39 divided by 2.5. And this is times 10 to the 14 times 10 to the uh, 6, 10 to the 6, right? So what's 3.9 divided by 2.5? What tier is this? This got to be around high school. It's high school, for sure high school. Sorry if this is off topic, but they just released a really hard to see teaser of Robert Pattinson in the new Batsu. Did they? Uh, nice. I hope it's good. Liters of water in there, so cool. wow. We can't. It won't. It won't hit all the whole earth, right? So let's check this out. This is six point three nine, six point three nine divided by two point five. Two point five is two point five six. Cool. So two point five six, two point five six times ten to the fourteen minus six is uh eight <laughs> that's a lot of olympic size swimming pools what did i just read what did they do to my man bad man no it's a, is it that bad is the bat suit that bad so this is how many swimming pools uh olympic olympic swimming pools It'll evaporate or boil. Robert Pattinson, I don't know the name. I don't, I don't even know who Robert Patton, Pattinson is. Right? So that's how many Olympic swimming pools. How much water is in Lake Erie? Like that's a lot. Oops. That's here. Let's write this out. Where are we going to write this out here? Let me erase this. So times 10 to the 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3, 3. <laughs> you can boil. <laughs> what does that become? Times 10, 1, 2, 3. Oh, one more because there's one here. 256 million. That can't be true. <laughs> Hold on a second. Eight, eight, so six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah. 256 million Olympic size swimming pools. What? Maybe. Hopefully, we didn't do any calculations wrong. But how many pots of spaghetti could I make with all that boiled water? Looks all right. DC movies are so out of touch. Yeah. DC, uh, uh, well, well, we'll leave that alone. Other than water, pools will need a serious repair too. Yeah. So seriously, how much? How many Olympic-sized swimming pools, or how much? How many liters does does Lake Erie have? Right. Like, I don't know. We could look that up. How many liters of water in Lake Erie? Let's see how many loops liters of water in Lake Erie. How many gallon gallons? Oh, well, we can figure out gallons. Are there in Lake Erie? Answer. Uh, da, 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 da. cubic centimeters oh man where's the leader calculations lifetime oh these numbers who's doing these mathematics present the stuff in reasonable numbers uh, we need one more comparison to make a smaller number so we can wrap our head around it yeah we do weight of rock was in millions other than water pool da, 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 da. 480 kilometers cubed yeah i forget where we were volume centimeters that says wiki better convert it 
convert in kilometers cube first okay cool four four hundred and eighty three times ten to the twelve okay cool so we're not taking out all of Lake Erie right Chicho which folder is best to post the bat suit in this go oh the comic books folder for sure the comic books folder right so Lake Erie has 4.3 times 10 to the 14 uh, no hold on we got two different answers these water in Lake Erie and Astro will boil yeah oh yeah this was Olympic size bowls that's how many waters so it'll it'll evaporate 100 Lake Erie's Wow right so if we erase these so this is how much water it'll evaporate Lake Erie it will boil 75 Lake Erie's cool so Lake Erie is um, this is how much water it will boil right and Lake Erie you divide this by Lake Erie Lake Erie is 4.83 times 10 to the 12 this factor here is 100 right so with when you do this this division you end up getting you end up boiling 76 lake eries that's a world event uh huge 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 an asteroid 500 meters long uh 500 meters and uh, radius right a kilometer long will evaporate 75 Lake Erie's so the Great Lakes will be gone right meters cubed seems like a fair bit but that energy where is it Doop. times 10 to the 20 joules is pretty huge I don't know you think you did your calculation right uh, 75 lake years okay pretty sure it's that yeah did we discuss the material of the asteroid if it's made of iron is denser this yeah this is what we did this is actually if it's uh the densest asteroid 5.32 right that's the uh where is that oh my god we did it here somewhere oh yeah we did we did it from here so we converted this to this so we went from uh da -da -da -da. this was the heavy asteroids okay that's the density of heavy asteroids and we did the conversion to how much this would weigh if it was a heavy asteroid and all of this calculations is the upper limit uh, okay we didn't do it for this one if we do it for this one um it's going to be an, an order of magnitude difference which which is a huge deal if this is an order of magnitude less at least an order of magnitude less then we're going from 75 lake eries to 7 point uh 7.5 lake eries right came in halfway apparently atomic bomb fat man had that many jewels 10 to the 13 uh so ours is 10 to the 20. this asteroid one kilometer long will have uh 10 to the where is it 10 to the 13 so 10 to the power of seven right so million plus times more energy than the atomic uh, than fat man right so just imagine a million fat man's going off that's the same energy as one kilometer and that's assuming if the velocity of this thing is correct it's going at which seems really high to me which seems incredibly high to me one more zero i guess calculations need one more zero apparently though the, oh, okay i did the math right but i got 70 uh, 127 trillion gallons of water then convert it to liters when the lightest will still boil 
almost 20 Lake Erie's cool so 20 Lake Erie's 75 Lake Erie's huge huge right these what if scenarios make math exciting wish I had this in middle and high school yeah really it's super fun doing this stuff it's just mental exercise right math in real life there's a reason why why I if you type in math and real life.com you'll go to my a math site that I haven't updated for a while because I need to mirror stuff I need more resources to do right uh, but math in real life is the name I chose for the website right the language of mathematics and math in real life this is math in real life right it's super cool I was born in Dunkirk New York which is a town that is on Lake Erie and my house was only five minute walk from it that's cool must be cold in the winters I can just walk into a Walmart to experience that <laughs> experience one part <laughs> that velocity seems low to me it does it based on what us uh, astrologer speed can be 50,000 kilometers per hour if it's low then my god we a couple of orders of magnitude off but I had to take it the initial velocity is quite reasonable for what I have read in the past really no nah. that's fast 50,000 kilometers per hour asteroid one kilometer wide hitting the earth will high density will well low density to high density it will evaporate anywhere between 20 to 75 Lake Erie's wow 